Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're going to take a look at the Corpse Elite action figure line. Well, not the line, these two figures. <laughs> so, got them cheap for two bucks. It was an Ollie's pickup a while back. I grabbed a bunch of them. Um, I think they still have, might be some newer ones, but they still have them. So, if you want to check them out, they're pretty decent, like, knockoff G.I. Joe series. I do like the art on this box. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good colors. So it's a, like a versus set, you know, the, the bad faction versus the good faction. So it shows them on the back there. You got your good guys and bad guys, faction face off. For $1.99, I'd say it's a good deal if you like action figures and want to check them out. So let's pop it open. Okay, in this series, you have Ogre. This is a snake bite. Ogre on the left, snake bite here to the right. So they are pretty thin and very light. Uh, it looks like they might be a little bit smaller than Joe. I don't have a Joe to compare it to. They still look pretty good. So hopefully they'll be the same size. Uh, what was that like 3.75? I'm not sure. So. See, so it's a little on the thinner side, and it doesn't feel, mm -hmm. kind of feels like she could maybe snap apart a little easier than, than I like. Ogre here is a little more solid, because he's got a thicker plastic mold. Got a cool skull on his shirt there, kind of an odd helmet. It looks kind of cool. I do like the, uh, the skull shirt. So Ogre, I believe, is the, the bad guy, and then Snake Bite is actually the good guy, a good girl. And come with some weapons here that are just a bland gray. It's kind of odd to pick black, but gray it is. So I think the pistol goes with her. Doesn't really say, but let's see here. Fits good. It's a good fit. It's not snug snug, but she can hold it and it looks pretty good. Maybe the gray will match her, I don't know, but the other colors are still gray, so I guess not. It's a shotgun. Kind of looks like a a little bit like a maybe a futuristic Spaz 12. You can definitely see it has a, a pump handle. So I believe it goes with Ogre. It has a tab in the back, like a backpack area. So yeah, it fits pretty good. And then there's a crossbow and two knives that um, I'm not going to really bother with because the tape is finicky and they're, they are very, um, they're kind of flimsy. The shotgun's fine, the pistol's okay, but uh, I did notice like bending the package that the crossbow and knives are pretty flimsy. But you can get them out, I just take a knife, cut them out, and they're fine. But these do look pretty cool, I think. Especially for the price. And it looks like they were made in 2016 by Lanyard or Lanyard Toys. Of course, made in China. Big surprise. It is what it is. So let's focus this a little bit, hopefully. And as far as the articulation goes, pretty good. You have knee joints, elbow joints. Um, oops, the hip wall, hip twist, uh, head twist. So that's that's good for um, I guess posing your action figures and stuff like that. They do feel a little loose and probably might get very loose quickly. I think. Again, for a dollar ninety nine, can't really complain too much. They look good. I think they serve the target they were looking for, or hit the target they were looking for.